Hi, I'm Sand Garden Dick, and today I'm going to begin to tell you about our home, the Sand Garden, and the guiding principle behind our place. We call it Celebrate Your Waste, and it's resulting in a series of YouTube videos that so direct applications of what I'm going to describe to you as the underlying principles of the sand garden. I guess the first principle is that uh, it's not good to be enslaved uh, when one's raising their kids or to have to spend uh, most of their lives away from their home, their place. And so uh, we sus subscribe to the notion that it's possible to have a place that's so inexpensive that one can live and raise their kids uh, in that place. In fact, they can do it without owning the land. And so we'll demonstrate uh, that. As it turns out, and uh, due to my bias as a permaculturist, um, someone who seeks to find sustainable, earth-friendly solutions uh, that minimize the impact on the planet. Um, we have achieved this end uh, by the application of principles of permaculture. And you'll see those um, in use in the various videos. So the notion here we call it the $15,000 house. Uh, I don't really know what it's going to cost. We spent a lot of money for a core 26-foot trailer, uh, $8,000, um, in which we moved in immediately. That was far and away, way, hugely the, the big expenditure. Turns out if one's very creative, uh, you can get a used trailer for free. Uh, they're all over in ranches and so forth, but we didn't know. Uh, we started in a bit of a crisis. Um, and I don't know, I doubt if we have another 7,000 uh, into it. We'll see, but you get the point. So this place isn't just a home. Um, it begins by processing its own waste. That's an assumption we have to make. If you're going to live somewhere, process your waste. In this case, gray water, wastewater. Uh, and that system has become the heart of our place. Uh, it's the entire area of our home and the various elements that I'm going to describe to you takes up less than a, a less than 3,000 square feet. I forget, it's about 75 feet long by 35 feet wide, but but it's not a, a real rectangle. It's a little uh, shed that you're seeing me sitting in right now. We call it the yoga shed. and uh, It's the one place where we have a fireplace. So that's kind of nice. At any rate, uh, our gray water system involves, simulates uh, natural ecological features that would normally clean water. And we just do it on a micro scale, and it's really, really fun. So check out our Celebrate Your uh, Waste video, uh, Celebrate Your Waste Gray Water System. Um, and then we built a home that. Uh, maximizes the use of wasted materials and at the same time really using both ancient and modern techniques of construction, ways of heating the structure when it's cold, cooling it when it's hot, uh, as I say processing its own waste both black and gray water. Um, where am I? Grows its own food in gardens watered by that system produces construction materials, protects itself from fire. Um, <laughs> it does a lot of stuff. Uh, and it does it almost entirely with wasted materials. So in this mechanism, it allows you um, to adopt a lifestyle 
in which you raise your child at home. To do this, we figure it would cost about $1,500 per adult uh, per year over, say, five years to reach the, the uh, self-heating and cooling and so forth and so on. Uh, that would be the end result. Uh, but in, in the process of that, uh, you use it throughout. So there's, <laughs> anyhow, uh, and in that you can enjoy community, engage in other efforts, um, perhaps uh, deal with some of the ways we're going to have to make transitions in our society, uh, and have fun. Thanks for listening, uh, and do check out various videos. They all start with Celebrate Your Waste. I hope to see you soon.